Aloha everyone, I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixiebel Paint. In this tutorial we will be working on this bedside table and transforming it into a quiet, uh, romantic and old style piece uh, using uh, Dixiebel Paint and also rugging technique. Actually for me it was first time trying this technique and I really enjoyed it. It was quite easy to do it and I was so pleased with the final result. Yeah, the effect is absolutely stunning and it looks sophisticated and hard to achieve but um, actually it's quite easy to do even with uh, no experience beforehand so um, let's get it. into it! We already did the prep before starting filming YouTube tutorials, so I'll just tell you that it has been cleaned with white lightening and we also applied two coats of buttercream, a lovely off-white from Dixiebel Paint. And we carried on working on this base if it was already there. Now for the rugging technique, we've used pumpkin spice and Merlot. Actually, these are two of the limited fall color released by Dixiebel Paint. And we started off with pumpkin. I usually slightly dilute the paint with water into a separate bowl and create that semi-translucent layer of um, color but this time we just took a little amount of paint straight from the um, uh, can and watered it down well as it was just a tiny surface. The paint was drying quickly as it was really warm in the studio so we worked in sections and each of us worked on her own territory, on her own zone. And in case you will see this video when this fall edition ends up, uh, Dixiebel has plenty of color choices you can mix and match uh, to get an alternative for these lovely fall colors. Also, make sure to change the rug when it's too soaked in water. I personally love it so much, I'm really happy with the result, given that it's first time doing this. Just play around with this technique, um, it's really easy to repair or go over a spot, it's quite easy to control and just add water to reactivate the paint. You can also add another layer of paint to make it more intense, add paint on that particular spot and dab it with the rug until you are happy with the way they blended. ready it's looking really really gorgeous now it's time for a bit of um, romance and uh, drama by adding the beautiful uh, merlot i took a little brush and i dipped it into the paint then i cleaned the excess on a towel to start doing a bit of uh, heavy dry brushing on the details just how gorgeous these little roses look like and how much they show themselves now after dry brushing with red. 
now I dipped again the uh, brush in red but I watered it down really well and I added it underneath the molds bringing in again the rug and that bit just the same as we did with the orange to help fading those hard edges and slightly blend it into the orange. I also brought the red down to the next drawers, such as the colors start uh, dripping down the mold. And uh, I also applied a bit of Merlot on the corners. Also brought in a lovely light blue, the Gulf. And um, we just added a tiny bit only on the ribbons, but it had to be there, definitely. I slightly dimmed the blue with my finger as um, it was um, a bit too intense. On the knobs we applied slick stick to make sure the paint will uh, stick to it and we let it dry while uh, we moved working on the drawer side. We decided to bring some character and applied a beautiful decoupage paper from Dixiebel called Distressed Damask. After measuring, I just trimmed out the stripes I needed and it was all prepared to be applied. I put on a thin coat of clear coat so the paper can stick to the drawer. As you apply it, you can also carefully lift it up and reposition it if you're not happy with how you place it, which is good as um, I didn't put it straight from the first time, to be honest. I used a 220 grit sanding block to remove the extra paper hanging down to the drawers. And then I applied another two layers of top coat to seal the decoupage paper. Back to the knobs, we applied two thin layers of buttercream, our base color, and let it dry for about two hours in between coats. After the buttercream dried, we put the knobs back um, on the piece, just to see where to place the colors and if they will look good with the um, overall look. The last step is sealing the whole piece. I used flat clear top coat and I apply it by using a Dixiebel oval medium brush. Then I let it dry for two hours in between coats. On the top, I applied three coats of gator hide to have a more durable protection. I applied it uh, with the blue sponge from Dixie Bell. Just make sure to go from one side to another to avoid any streaks or marks. And this is the final result! Hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new and if you did so, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more techniques. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time!